Radio host Mike Carlton is being accused of reaching a disgusting new low for comments about a man he detested, fellow broadcaster Stan Zamanik. As Zamanik's family prepared to bury him, Carlton said he hated and loathed the shock jock, insisting he'd go to the funeral only to check if he was really dead. David Richardson on a man who'll hate you for your politics or your success and for a long time. It would be an act of sheer hypocrisy if I turned up to Zemanek's funeral. I loathed him. It was a 30-year radio war that yesterday well, reached the beyond the grave. I just heard you say you wouldn't go to Stan's funeral. Couldn't you find in your heart to go to attend? It's only 10 minutes away from TUE, the mm. church. No, I can't, actually. Mm. I don't, don't like Stan and he didn't like me and I'm, I'm not going to be hypocritical and turn up. Oh. Sadly, that isn't where Mike Carlton stopped. <laughs> I go to check that he's actually <laughs> Oh, no! Mike Carlton yesterday stunned listeners with his verbal assault on his 2 UE colleague, Stan Zamanik, who passed away last week after a long fight with cancer. Today, Carlton was anything but contrite. I just spoke the plain truth yesterday in answer to a listener's question. Their 30 year stoush has been long and bitter, but many believe Carlton's posthumous bagging of his rival on the day he was cremated was below the belt. Mark Carlton should shut his mouth and stop sort of being so revolting. A day after attending his funeral, family friend and Zamanik's Beauty and the Beast co-panellist, Jeannie Little, was aghast. I just could not believe anyone would criticise a man who had just died after the worst illness that lasted over a year. A lot of talkback uh, disc jockeys believe that what their job is is to be honest and I'm sure that's what he thought he was doing in this instance. But media expert and commentator Dr Mark Brennan from the University of Sydney says they're not called shock jocks for nothing. Disc jockeys now are increasingly resorting to outlandish tactics to sort of draw attention to themselves and to, to draw attention to their particular show. So perhaps this is what Carlton is actually trying to do. He did not treat animals with respect. It's not the first time celebrities have taken pot shots at the deceased. Who could forget Jermaine Greer's attack on Steve Irwin in the few days after his death? It's no surprise that he came to grief. Or Darren Hinch's on-air allegations about Graham Kennedy, declaring the TV legend had died of AIDS-related pneumonia. Graham Kennedy did not have AIDS, and there's proof that he didn't have AIDS. Look, I think if the shoe was on the other foot, absolutely, I think Stan Zamanik, given his rep reputation, would have definitely something to say about Mike Carlton, but that doesn't actually make the matter right. He will rue the day that he said it completely. David Richardson reporting. And unusually for a shock jock, Carlton doesn't want to say anything more about it.